Team, welcome to another edition of Raising Havana, episode seven. So today was a bit more of a chilled out day for little one. What I wanted to really focus on was keep working on our coin indication for scent mark and actually get her doing a little bit of searching, but also start building in a bit more of a recall cue and an engagement cue. So one of the things that Havana has always struggled with, at least with me, um, is actually coming back to me when I give that recall cue. And I think it's because, because she's a little bit nervy when I've raised my voice to say, come, um, that's actually spooked her out a little bit. So what we did a lot of work on today was literally just teaching her that that word means the best things ever. And you'll see in this video that actually she is still a little bit hesitant and she's still a little bit unsure. But I wanted to keep it in so that you can see what training is actually like in real time. Havana, come. Nice one. Come. 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 See, you add in the word and she loses that. So odd. What went wrong? Havana, come. Havana, come. Good. What is that you? Come. Cool. Come. 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 So weird. Havana, come! So from now I moved on to start teaching her the basics of loose lead walking. I don't start teaching loose lead walking on lead, I teach it off lead. What I teach the dogs to do is gravitate towards a specific position with my reward placement, so where they get fed and rewarded. So I want my I want Havana to walk on my left hand side, so I reward her on the left hand side. This means that actually she will learn to gravitate to that area, learn to generally engage with me, and also learn to start following my body movement, which is all loose lead walking is at the end of the day. It's learning to follow body body movement and building up to that. Finally, we finished off with a little bit of coin indication work. So what I'm trying to teach her to do now is actively search for the coin. So it's not just really, really easy for me to just pop it down and have her sniff for it. I'll, I'll have her find it immediately rather. She's gonna have to learn to start sniffing for it. We have some interesting tidbits here where she tries to pick up the coin a few times, which is something I'm gonna have to be really, really aware of. But overall, I was really happy with this, that she's actually using her nose to start searching for the coin and my human scent as well. And that, as that's gonna be the scent that I'm gonna put her on to start with. Have a little watch of this video and see what you think. She also took a little trip down to the beach, not a long one for about a five minute walk. I didn't go, but overall she did really, really well down there. She had a really, really nice time wandering around. Uh, don't think she went on the sand at all, so we've not, she's not had that experience, but it's just a way to expose her to new people and places. And she did really, really well. So there we go, not a very intense day for a little one, but we're trying to break things up so that she has a quiet day, then an intense day, then a quiet day, then an intense day. So yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please subscribe and give this video a like. Drop a comment with your favourite part of Havana's journey so far. And you can find me on Facebook at Jack Fenton Dash, the Dorset Dog Trainer. Any questions, please do let me know. Thank you very much for watching, team. I'll chat with you again soon. Bye.